general idea behind Yakuza as a game is a really authentic, uh, realistic underworld story about the Yakuza in Japan. So the game takes place in various environments, anything from the uh, back alleys of Tokyo, very dark, gritty scenery, to uh, very bright, neon light lit, as well as uh, nightclubs, bars, hostess clubs, uh, batting cages. One of the biggest unique things about Yakuza is the story and its authenticity. The story of Yakuza, we've got a, a deep and, and involving storyline penned by an award-winning novelist in Japan, uh, Hase-san, who worked uh, very closely with uh, Nagoshi-san, the uh, director of the game, to create this you know, very authentic uh, feeling of the, the Japanese underworld creating, uh, you know, feeling like you're part of this Yakuza experience and you're able to then interact with characters that are authentic and, and feel really unique and uh, you know, traditionally Japanese in this uh, Yakuza world. I don't think there's any other developer in the world who can deliver this sort of authenticity of the game. So the main character of Yakuza is uh, Kazuma. He's uh, essentially he's just been released from prison. He had a 10-year sentence for uh, a crime that he did not commit, actually. And so he's getting back into the world uh, after this 10-year absence. He's this big, tough uh, Japanese guy who's very soft-spoken, yet He's one of those guys that you don't want to mess around with. The uh, other main character in the game is his best friend, Nishiki, who uh, essentially uh, is the one who committed the crime that, for which Kazuma took the rap. And now Nishiki has taken this opportunity through 10 years to really propel himself through the ranks of the Yakuza. And now uh, their friendship is tested as they are put on either side of this uh, you know, missing $100 million. Haruka. She's a young girl who plays a real, really interesting role in a, in a story. She's, she's essentially going to hold a key to the mystery that wraps around the story. Uh, you're going to meet dozens of interesting characters all the way throughout Yakuza. There's uh, you know, a myriad of, of Yakuza bosses and sub-bosses and forcers. You'll run into the Chinese triad. You'll see all sorts of uh, things from you know, street punks to uh, you know, anything you can imagine in the nightlife of Tokyo. The story is what really drives this game, and cutscenes is, is, is a, an excellent way to demonstrate how the story is portrayed in a game. It's totally Hollywood style, um, great camera work, it's very cinematic, there's uh, great editing and, and uh, great performances in here, so um, you'll see a lot of really top-notch, high-quality cutscenes to kind of pull the story, which you really involved as you get, you know, fighting your way through the, uh, the world of Yakuza. The prequel sets you back to where uh, Kazuma, Nishiki, and Yumi were still in orphanage, and how they met, and how they spent time together building their relationship, and how they uh, decided to go out to the world and enter the Yakuza world. So yeah, by watching the prequel, you can really get an understanding of who those characters are, where they're from, and their background, and how they ended up to be where they are in the beginning of the story in the game. Essentially, the, the gameplay of Yakuza stretches over uh, 13 uh, sprawling chapters of the story, and uh, as you go through there, you'll fight you know dozens of boss battles from you know major heads of the Yakuza to you know their their henchmen and enforcers. There are over over 70 different types of uh, side missions and, and mini games you can you can experience and play, uh, as well as uh, there are over 300 items and weapons you can collect and use in the game. You know, the hand-to-hand -hand combat is at the core of Yakuza. Uh, you know, Kazuma, when he meets a challenge, he'll answer it many times with his fist. But in addition to that, there's a variety of other gameplay elements. Um, there's a lot of, you know, character interaction. There's um, some variety of combat, including uh, there's some shooting stages. The fighting system is very easy to understand. It starts with a few basic moves, but then it just broadens out as you advance and slowly teaches you more and more moves. Pretty much anything you see that's kind of laying around, whether it's a lead pipe, a crate, a garbage can, you can pick that up and use it. You'll find guns. You'll actually, people will attack you with swords. You knock them down, take the sword out of their hands. And there's a great uh, block and evade system where you can really, you know, strategize and get around all these weapon attacks. But my favorite thing really is the heat gauge and being able to unlock these new uh, powerful finishing moves, as well as, uh, you know, having these customized finishing moves for each of the weapons. I think the things that are really going to make Yakuza stand out, uh, among other titles, is, is one, this authentic world of the Yakuza. It's a thing that gamers really haven't seen before, and they're going to be able to get in and live that. 
It's like it's like reading a really good book. Uh, you just can't wait to turn a page or watching a really great film. You just you just want to keep watching it to find out what happens next. This this game and the story delivers just that. It's going to be an experience uh, unlike any other on the console. Rated M for Mature. Bush!